And good afternoon for this uh, Thursday. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. A wanted Monroe man has been arrested in connection to the fatal Barrington Drive shooting. Brandon Hubbard was booked on a second degree murder charge. That was April 26th. The two men were walking down Barrington Drive when a car pulled up and according to police, two men got out of that vehicle and started shooting at the men walking. One victim fled the scene. The other victim was later pronounced dead at a hospital. Police say it's believed one of the victims had shot a suspect earlier that day. At the state capitol, a bill in the legislature is nearing finish, the finish line that would reduce the amount of waivers people can get to stay on SNAP benefits longer. Capitol reporter Shannon Hecht explains, explains this debate. The bill by Senator Blake Miguez would impact about 30,000 people across the state who currently get SNAP benefits. His bill looks to reduce the number of waivers that are given to people after the three-month unemployment period. Under new federal law, able-bodied adults between the ages 18 and 52 will be limited to only three months of SNAP benefits over the course of three years if they are unemployed. About 30,000 Louisianians would fit this category, and State Senator Blake Miguez wants to do away with the no-cause waivers that allow people to stay on SNAP benefits longer. But just to blindly give out these waivers uh, with no good cause is just, I think, it's just, I think what we're doing is we're stealing the American dream away. People who are disabled, caregivers, have transportation issues, and other reasons can get the waiver under this bill. He says if people work part-time or do volunteer work, they can be eligible again for the waivers. He points to the over 100,000 open jobs in the state, and some lawmakers still fear it will create a hardship for certain people who will lose out on the $200 a month for food. We're talking about folks that's convicted felons, criminal background. We can't assume that somebody's going to hire them. And we're talking about taking food, literally taking food out of people's mouths. Some advocates also said studies show that work requirements don't really increase employment rates. The bill was voted on along party lines. The bill now heads to the full house where it could be the final stop for this bill if there are no amendments on it. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. Well, speaking of food assistance, it's been months since Governor Landry opted into the summer EBT program after initially wanting to withdraw. The program can benefit nearly 600,000 children across the state. And yesterday, we reported that the Louisiana Department of Children and Family Services also announced its part in the summer EBT program called Sunbucks. It helps families put meals on the table. In 2022, there are 80% of our students who are economically disadvantaged. We have 41,000 kids that are registered um, or enrolled in our school system. And if 80% of them are economically disadvantaged, you could see that there is a, need, a huge need just in EBR alone. Well, DCFS says they will provide $120 for each eligible child to buy groceries during summer break. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Well, it's partly cloudy for this afternoon. We'll pick up on a little bit of sunshine, but definitely exercise heat safety if you'll be out and about later today as heat index virus will climb to the upper 90s and push right there into the triple digits. As we go throughout later on this evening, that front will pass on through, and we are expecting a line of thunderstorms, and some of these storms could potentially be severe with damaging wind tail being the primary threat around 8, 9 o'clock tonight, and this will be running up until midnight for some of our eastern parishes. But by about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, that's when most of these storms will be on out of here and the winds will shift mainly out of the north and we'll pick up on some slightly cooler air and be a little bit drier as well. We'll pick up on plenty of sunshine for tomorrow and that sunshine will at least last through the start of this weekend. Tonight's expecting low about 66 degrees. Again, these storms throughout the potential of being severe. Winds hail the primary threat. An admitted tornado still cannot be rolled out. And then tomorrow, that's when we pick up on some sunshine temperatures. We'll drop down to lower 80s for our highs. Now, through the start of the weekend, won't be too bad. We'll continue in the lower 80s. And th uh, then going to next week on Sunday and Monday, we'll have a chance of more rain and thunderstorms with our next disturbance that will last through at least the mid parts of next week as we rise back up to the upper 80s on Wednesday. Lows will continue to stay mainly in the mid 60s and then more chances of rain at least by the late part next week. That's it for our update. NBC News continues now. St. G, get those tickets. Go by Max. God bless you. See you tomorrow.